So if you see me looking around during this video, because I'm being hunted. And if I run, that's why. Hmm. Did y'all see that? I'm about to kill. Ooh, kill him. Come here. Come on. sorry that it has been a week since I posted my last video that is due to my graduation so I've been extremely busy with finals last week of school getting in all my projects and of course graduation and then you know after graduation you have your parties and your fun times so that is what I've been busy with all right so as you can tell probably from the first clip I will be a little bit like fidgety but like aware what's going on because bugs are trying to kill me because I decided to kill them and like get them out of my garage so anyways this video is going to be a what I have in my tack box what I have in my tack box as far as at home um I have a lot of beautifulness here um I have my main wooden box here, I've got stuff up there, stuff hanging up on these hooks, all this stuff, buckets, yada yada yada. Um, I will be showing you guys, like I will take the box and like show you what I have in each, but first I'm just going to do my overview as far as everything goes and I'm going to try and avoid filming my garage because you guys will totally think that my parents are hoarders. Which we're not. We own a few businesses and one of them is craft shows and antiques. So we have a lot of antiques and like craft show stuff that my stepmom has made and it's just... So without delaying this video any longer and keeping you guys waiting for a video, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here's just kind of an overview of everything. So going ahead and starting right here. This is my wooden custom uh, tack box that my stepmom's dad made for me. And I just have a lot of miscellaneous things in here. Again, I will go through everything in a different angle. I'm just kind of giving you an overview of my setup. Then over to the right, I have my red bridal bag that I went ahead and opened for you guys. And in here, I just have my red play bridal that I use when I'm like going to swim with the horses or just for pictures and for fun. I have a blue halter that I have for one of my other horses. Um, I have my training lead rope. The reason why this is my training one is because it's, the snap at the end is a little different. It's a whole lot harder to break. And also I like the flexibility of it. Then I have my purple halter for my two year olds. That's just sitting back in there. And lastly in here, I have my red lunge line with the chain on it that I use for training because it's not too long, so I still have control. And then right over here on this hook here, I just have my red lead rope. That is my favorite. The reason why it's here is because my lead ropes disappear, so I keep this one at home. Then I just have a black bucket tie, my other blue rope halter, which I use for training and breaking. And then I have two ropes here. One is a very old grungy lead rope, and the other one I have turned into a neck rope. In the corner here, I have one of my old bridles that is actually broken. It has seen better days. And then I have my light brown half chaps. Up here, I just have my 
bag with all my show clothes in it that honestly should be in the house. And then I have another bag that has all my hair things, earrings, um, all that stuff for shows. And then that is my show halter up there. It's just a HDR black leather with the Savarsi crystals in it. All right, and then coming down here, I have my Academy Sports a little basket that I kind of pull around to shows. I can put my saddle, grooming box, all that stuff in here to take from the trailer to our tax stall or just for whatever and it holds drinks and I have not taken it out of this yet. All right, then over here I have this red bag. It just says my name on it. And in here I just have my showmanship boots that have duct tape on it because um, they were too wide in the calf and so it stuck out of my pants. And then I just have my uh, binder that has all of my um, records in it as far as my horses and tack, you know, tack lists and shows and directions and all that fun stuff. A blue basic blanket that's in size 80. I won this from winning High Point. Then I've got these two bins here, which I will go through in a minute, so I'm not going to even go over that. Then I have my poster that I made for when we went to state, because when you go to state you're supposed to make a poster and it goes on your stall. So that is just what I kind of came up with ever so quickly. But here, in this green bucket, I have a lot of miscellaneous things that again I will go through. Then I have my red bucket feeder, and it just has my standing pillow wraps for trailering. It's got a few numbers in here and uh, my state record things and it's got my wraps for going over my pillow wraps my standing wraps and then i just got my red cuffs that we took off of my showmanship jacket because they changed the rules without showing you guys my hideous garage um i have my two red buckets that i use for water and things for shows that i will take i actually have a third bucket that is maroon that is the feeding bucket but it's currently not here then I have a huge green bucket and two blue buckets. One of them is one of those easy feeders. Okay, so the first box I'm gonna go through is my brown box that I have here. So in here, I just have my red water bottle. I have this blue bag that I got from uh, my championships in Oklahoma. I just have some white bell boots that are very muddy and dirty and sandy from Micah. I have my Dover white splint boots. Um, I just use these whenever I feel like wearing white, I guess. <laughs> Then I have an extra bag here. This is a grooming bag that honestly has nothing in it. It just does not have a job yet. Then I have my 4-H bag. And in this bag I have some Equus Premier Natural Botanic Equine Shampoo. I have some baby powder that I have uh, taped. I have some extra stirrifiers that I need to put on my that I need to put on my other saddle. Then I have some quick braid, some baby detangler for the main tail, and a girth extender for when Micah was fat. Okay, so in this tub here, I honestly have a lot of miscellaneous things, so I'm going to try and not go through everything to take up time. I have a white fly bonnet. I have some old, old leather conditioner. Some extra pads that go on your stirrup irons. A brush. I have some healthy coat supplements. And honestly, the rest is a lot of rags for cleaning. So going in my green box, I just have this little white basket that actually had this in it, and this is my Betulin Bath Conditioning Shampoo. Then I have my red rope hay bag that I have not used. I have my 
two grain feeders. I have a blue one and a red one because those are my colors, but I need red. And then I just have some warmer and inside a grooming box. I have a regular human brush. I have this brush from Equestria. I have one from, I don't know, but it's made in Vietnam. <laughs> I have this one. I have a regular blue and pink body brush. And one of these really cool metal designed hoof picks. I just have this black little basket that we would hang on the edge of our stalls with some view in it. I have my clippers. A red sweat scraper. So in my a far right blue bin. I'm not going to go through it because I'm actually going to film a separate video on my saddle pad collection because I brought all of them home. But in here I just have all of my saddle pads. So in the blue bin that was right behind me, I have a classic equine grooming bag that you can hang on your, um, what's it called, on your trailer. I have my red sparkly hay bag that I currently use all the time for shows. That's what it looks like. Then I just have another basic hay bag with the hole in it and this one I use for trailering because it's a little bit smaller. Then I have my Continental Derby kind of maroon quarter sheet and it's just in cotton and I only use this for cold days not for when it's raining because it's not waterproof. Then I have another hay bag, and this is just the same as the red one, but in blue. And then I have another hay bag, and it's just in the regular, um, like the regular red, not with the glitter, and it's the Derby Originals, and I won this, but my horse ripped it. She's such a sweetheart. I just have my height measuring stick that I use to measure my horses. Um, I just kind of have this sitting in the back here. Finally, in this little corner here, I have my dressage whip that I use for when I'm doing dressage or when I'm training. I'll use this a little bit just to move their hindquarters or teach them to move off of pressure. All right, guys, so I think that is it. Um, if you have any questions regarding any of these things, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll definitely answer your questions. Um, I just want to go ahead and thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can go ahead and keep track of all my videos to come in the future. So I will see you guys later. Bye.